Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. Today we are going to make cheese and corn stuffed garlic bread sticks. So let us start making it. So we are going to begin by taking about half a teaspoon of instant yeast and adding it to about half a cup of warm water along with about a teaspoon of sugar to it. Mix this really well. So now we are going to keep this somewhere warm. So best place would be the microwave. Make sure the microwave is switched off. So we are going to take about 1 and 1 fourth cup of plain flour or maida in a mixing bowl along with about 8 to 10 garlic cloves chopped fine about half a teaspoon of garlic powder about a quarter teaspoon of onion powder salt to taste and now we are going to mix this really well and make a well inside I am also going to add about 2 tablespoons of oil you can use any regular oil and our eastern water concoction now it's a time to get your hands dirty. Oh yes, a little bit of herbs would be awesome in here. So I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of oregano to this, a quarter teaspoon of basil and a little bit of thyme and some more water. So now we're going to get this all together and we're going to knead this until it's all well and good. So I'm going to get this to our surface. And now we are going to knead this for about 5 minutes or so. So I have kneaded it thoroughly. Now we are going to keep this in a well oiled bowl and we are going to leave it to prove for about an hour or so. So I am going to just take a few drops of oil in a bowl and I am going to keep this dough over here. And I am going to rotate this once so that the oil coats it really well. So now I am going to take a cling wrap. And I'm going to cover this and keep this for about an hour in a warm spot. So while our dough is being proved or fermented, let's make the spice mix for our garlic bread, which is the main ingredient in this recipe. So here we have a lot of ingredients. So let's make it. So to the mortar and pestle, first of all, I'm going to add in salt, which is about one and a half teaspoon or so. You can add as per your taste. Next goes in our pepper, about three, four teaspoon, one and a half teaspoons of oregano. 1 and a half teaspoons of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of rosemary, half a teaspoon of thyme, 1 and a half teaspoons of chili flakes, about 1 teaspoon of Kashmiri red chili powder and about half a teaspoon of amchur. So these are all the ingredients that will go in. Now we are going to just crush it up and make this powder fine and very tempting. Now this is such a spice mix that you want to create it your way. You don't want to follow the exact same recipe. Adjust it as per your preference. I have added a little bit of sugar and a lot more Kashmiri red chilli powder and oregano. So make it and adjust it as per your preference. So our dough is all proved. So now I'm going to take it out and I'm going to dust this surface with a little bit of corn meal. So here I have some corn meal. You can also use suji if you wish to which is semolina. But corn meal works better here. And I'm going to take the dough out and place it here. And now I'm going to knead this for a moment. Basically, we are incorporating the cornmeal on the outer crust. So in a cornmeal dusted platform, I'm going to place the dough and we're going to roll the dough out. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to apply a little bit of mayo over here. This is vegan mayo which I've made at home. Not much, you can also apply a little bit of bechamel if you wish to with a lot of cheese in it. So now I'm going to spread a little bit of cheddar. Then a little bit of corn. So here I have some jalapeno as well which I'm going to just chop a little bit because these are a little bigger chunks for this size. So now you can sprinkle a little bit of the spice mix if you wish to and more cheese. So here I have some mozzarella. So more of mozzarella and a little bit of cheddar. Now I'm going to just bring this all together. Seal the edges. If you look from a pizza perspective, this is something like a calzone. 
make sure the seam is all tight so here i have a tawa you can use a pizza tray or if you wish to and i'm going to place this here and i'm going to take my paring knife and just make slits at about 1 inch difference now i'm going to take more butter and just grease it be generous here so all good now we are going to sprinkle our spice mix and a little more of oregano so this is all ready to go inside our oven at 200 degrees centigrade for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the bread is all done so i'm going to take it out and then serve it this looks super cheesy and super delicious so our garlic bread is all ready so let me try it This is a pure place to have, so make sure you try this. I'm sure you will love this. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. It's free. Bye. Take care. Happy eating.